Hello, I'm Christopher Kenworthy and welcome to Manipulating Colour for Photography. And working with colour is one of the most exciting things you can do in Photoshop. When you take control of colour you can really bring your photographs to life. I'm going to show you the best process for getting your photographs into Photoshop in the first place and then how to remove colour casts. So for an image like this that's too blue, how do you bring out its natural colours? With simple ways to use the curves tools to make an image look its best. Then we'll look at levels, which can sometimes be a quicker way to get the result you want. We'll move on to looking at skin tones, how you can select and correct skin. And as your knowledge increases, we'll go back to camera raw, so that when you import an image, you're doing so with the maximum amount of colour information. Then we'll look at rescuing dark images, not just by brightening them, but by brightening the various colours within them to bring out the full rich detail that's buried within the photo. We'll start combining these techniques to create overall looks that can be added to images. It's important too to look at simple techniques such as removing one colour. Here a magenta cast is removed from a waterfall shot. And dull photographs can be enhanced with very simple curves adjustments bringing out some of the texture and detail. We'll then look at different methods for selecting colours and how you can adjust those colours individually to have full control of the various areas of an image. We'll go on to look at more advanced selection methods, which allows you to home in on one colour area and really make it stand out. And we'll show how this can be used creatively to enhance images in unexpected ways. There are many different ways of selecting and adjusting colours in Photoshop, and by the end of this course you'll know every different way that you can select a particular area and make it stand out from the background. We'll look at removing colours and adding them back in, so where colours have become too dark you can brighten them up again. And then we'll look at adding coloured glows, so you can take the radiosity that's colouring part of an image and spread it through the rest of the frame. For images that have too much contrast, we'll show you a unique way of pulling out the detail and then working with the colour to make sure the image still looks good. And then at the end of the course I'll show you how to merge different layers taken from your original raw photograph so you can get the absolute maximum colour depth in your image. I hope you enjoy this course. By the end of it you should have mastered colour and you'll be able to manipulate colour for all your photographs.